Hey everybody, this is Glenn here from Holy Fire Ministry Training School. And I just wanted to put together a short video to remind you of the letters that we have learned in Bible school. We've covered five letters. This is just a short video. We've covered five letters, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, and He. So let's look at these letters. I wanted to remind you of them and uh, you can learn them good. This is uh, first Aleph. Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And Aleph means beginning. We're reminded here that God is the beginning of everything. He is eternal. Aleph is also a silent letter. So the Hebrew alphabet begins in silence. We're reminded here that we should begin every endeavor silently, waiting for God's word, listening to God's word. What does he have to say? What does he want to say with us? This is the mystery of Aleph, that we should begin everything listening to God. Aleph being silent takes on the sound of whatever vowel is put below it or above it. Usually it's below. It could take on the sound ah or e or o or u. It could take on uh, any sound that uh, the vowels tell us underneath it or above it. The second letter is bet. Bet. And bet is a house. Bet means house. Bethel means house of God. El meaning God. Beth meaning house. Bethel is house of God. And here we are reminded that we are to be a house for God's word to live in. We're also reminded that Jesus is the epitome of the house of God. The Father is dwelling in him fully. And he is also dwelling in the Father. And we see in Psalm 119, Bet, that the psalmist longs for the word of God to dwell in him. He treasures the word of God. And so we're to treasure the word of God and be a house for God's word. The next letter is Gimel. And Gimel looks like a man moving. Specifically, it means camel. And it reminds us of the journey we are on with God. Gimel, as a man moving, is looking to bring something good. He's a generous man. He is a rich man. And he's moving to do God's will. This is what we're reminded of with Gimel. And Gimel makes the sound of guh. Now, the fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Dalit, and Dalit means door. And there's a rabbinic tradition that Dalit is the poor man and Gimel is the rich man running after the poor man. And the poor man needs the generosity of the rich man. And we're reminded here that we are actually all poor and that Jesus says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God. So when we come needy for God, desperate for God, God's riches come to us like a camel loaded with treasure and uh, good things. God comes to us and he blesses us with his kingdom riches. So Dalit is the door. That's the fourth letter. Also meaning four, Aleph is one, Bet is two, Gimel is three, Dalit is four. And then the last letter that we have covered is He. He sounds like breath. It makes the sound like breath. And we're reminded of God's breath. Also, He reminds us of being and existence and revelation that uh, our God is a God who reveals himself. He is the one who is. And in God's name, yud heh vah Yahweh, in God's name, He appears two times, reminding us of God's uh, nature to be present and dynamic and helpful and with us, that he would be with us, just like he said to Moses, I will be with you. So He represents breath. It represents uh, existence. We're reminded that God is with us and he will be with us just like he was with Moses. And the reason why the Israelites were set free from Egypt is because 
God was with them, present, working, acting, moving. This is what the name Yahweh means and what He reminds us of. So there's all the letters that we've covered. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, He. Next, we're going to cover Va, but that's coming on Monday. God bless you. Hope that you are enjoying learning about Jesus and also studying these letters. God bless you.